Stonewall is a lobbying group that is committed to the campaigning for equal rights for gay, lesbian, bisexual and trans people in the UK. There's a link for it up in the sidebar. Recently, Stonewall ran an ad campaign that coincided with pupils returning to school, bearing the slogan, Some people are gay, get over it. And that was part of the drive to tackle homophobic bullying in Britain's schools. With pretty depressing inevitability, I received an email from Stonewall on Friday reporting on the large number of emails that they'd received from people who don't believe that everyone's entitled to equal rights. From people who feel that we shouldn't be looking to tackle homophobic abuse that kids who are identified as being gay suffer at the hands of their peers. That we shouldn't try to help vulnerable members of our society who are made to feel so bad about themselves that many of them end up taking their own lives. And one such letter was quoted in the email, and it reads as follows. I was completely appalled to find one of your posters on many trains. This poster is clearly promoting homosexuality. We should be helping to decrease homosexuality, not promoting it. This poster goes against the Christian religion and Islam, which are the two main religions in the UK, because they disapprove of homosexuality. I would feel embarrassed if I was guiding tourists around London and they saw that poster. Would you put a poster which says, Some people are thieves. Get over it. I suggest that the poster should be removed. Well, it sounds like someone needs a shag. If anything is evidence that campaigning for equal treatment and safety of gay people is needed, letters like this are that evidence. The suggestion that we should be helping to decrease homosexuality, um, how exactly would that work? Electric shocks, chemical castration, or other mental and physical torture methods that have been tried previously and only ended up in the destruction of people's lives, like the suicide of Alan Turing. Do these people think that this is preferable to people being gay? And as for their reference to religion, well, I don't give a stuff about their primitive Bronze Age mythology. I mean, bear in mind that this is the same set of moral values that condone slavery and the cutting of babies from the wounds of pregnant women in vanquished countries. It seems to me that if we should be trying to decrease anything, it should be the intolerance, hatred and violence that arise from these two main religions in the UK. And then, of course, we get the comparison to thieves. The idea that gay people should be considered criminals. People who provide no benefit to society but simply harm it. Well, if the message from these posters only gets through to one school kid and stops him or her from enacting homophobic abuse on another person, if it only helps one troubled person come to terms with their sexual orientation, then I think that it's worth it. But the battle against the bigots is nowhere near won. And so the message to these people remains. Some people are gay. Get over it. But what of those who don't? What term do you use to define the people who don't get over it? The ones who see an ad campaign like this as promoting homosexuality. The ones who think that, unlike heterosexuals, homosexuals run some kind of recruitment drive. You know, the ones who don't understand that sexual orientation isn't a choice, who don't understand that homosexuality is a variation of human sexuality and not some ghastly perversion. In essence, the ones who just don't get it. Well, I think this term sums them up. Think about it. I bet they don't get that either.